Hello there! You know, it really doesn't matter whether it's a hundred pieces, five hundred pieces, a thousand pieces, or two thousand pieces. Welcome to Unboxing the Boxes, my Star Wars collection. This is episode 125, The Art of Star Wars Puzzles. <laughs> Now back in video number 81, I featured my collection of puzzles, Star Wars puzzles, from the late 1970s to more modern day. Well, I hate to say this, but I kept buying more puzzles, and I got enough now to fill another box. While the early Star Wars puzzle featured scenes from A New Hope, the first Star Wars movie, these new puzzles feature some really great artwork. And they also feature some scenes from the original trilogy, the prequels, and even a little television show you may have heard of called The Mandalorian. And you know what? There is even one puzzle that features your favorite bounty hunters. So are you ready for this? Tell you what, while I get these out, I would just like you to take a moment to like this video, share it with your friends, of course, subscribe to the channel, lets YouTube know that there are people who like this, and maybe hit that notification bell. Well, let me get this unboxed and we'll get started. All right, we got them unboxed. Let's get started on this thing, shall we? I think you're gonna like this artwork on this stuff. The first one we have here is a 400 piece puzzle featuring a, you could say a scene promoting the very first Star Wars movie, A New Hope. And as you can see, it features our main characters in a comic book kind of format, you could say. And one thing I like about this, um, well, first of all, it's a 400-piece puzzle, as you can see, but it's also considered a family puzzle. So this is one the parents and the kids can all work together on. And when we look at the back of it, you can see kind of how it's laid out as far as the number of pieces and how the pieces are. But I like this one. Um, I like the artwork on here. I think it is really cool. And the likenesses of the characters are pretty good. Made by Buffalo. You'll find out most of these puzzles are made by Buffalo. Buffalo Games. So I think this is a really nice one to start with. So there we have it. A New Hope with the original characters. Next we have, we're going to move on to the prequels along with the Clone Wars. And as you can see, this one features Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Ahsoka. And of course, we also have Darth Maul there, the main antagonist for a portion of the series. So, like I said, this one happens to be 500 pieces. And I notice on this one, it doesn't say family-oriented. Family puzzle, like this one does. But still, nice artwork, a great puzzle to get started with, something that could keep you busy for a little while. We're gonna go back to 400 puzzle here for the next one, and the next three puzzles are gonna deal with the Mandalorian. Now the first one here, I, I like this one because it seems to be based on trading cards, as if you took trading cards and threw them on the table. And as you can see, there's a lot of trading cards here. We have, of course, it features the Mandalorian, we have Grogu the Child, we have a couple packs showing the outside of the packets before they get open, and various characters from within the TV series. Once again, you can see that it says family puzzle, so ready to go for the whole family here. The next one kind of takes us back a bit in the type of artwork that we see here, almost taking us back to the original uh, movies again and that it features that type of style, that type of artwork. But of course, we are talking the Mandalorian here, and we have the Mandalorian with Grogu, along with Cool, the Jawas, and the Mudhorn. This is a 500-piece puzzle, as you can see. So, not bad. I like it. And the other one, the last one of the Mandalorian with these, is also a 500-puzzle piece. And as you can see, once again, they kind of went retro with the type of artwork that it's showing. Here again, we have the Mandalorian. We have IG-11, cool writing, 
some stormtroopers, and of course the Razor Crest in the background. But kind of neat. I, I like the artwork for these two puzzles. I think it's really interesting that they came up with that. So anyway, these are kind of the smaller ones, 400 and 500 pieces. Let me move these out of the way. Or we're going to go up a little bigger. Okay, the next puzzle also is from The Mandalorian. A little bigger. This one features 550 pieces. And this one's a little more artsy. A little more, um, more like a painting, if you want to call it that. Featuring the cast of The Mandalorian sitting around the campfire enjoying themselves from the looks of it. And uh, not, not bad at all. 550 pieces. So... 24 inches by 18 inches, this one is. So not too bad a size. Um, and this one, it looks like it came from the Thomas Kincaid Studios. It's one of the, I didn't notice any names of the artists on these other ones. But this one does have a little blurb saying Thomas Kincaid Studio. So not bad. I kind of like it. Not quite my favorite, but I still like it. Now, the next one I think you guys are going to really like, guys and gals, I should say, because it features one of the classic Christmas cards that was given out by Lucasfilm years ago. Yeah, they took this Christmas card, they made a puzzle out of it. Who does this card feature? Because there has been quite a few of them over the years. Well, this one happens to feature C-3PO and R2-D2 wishing everybody a very Merry Christmas. R2's got the little reindeer antlers on, c 3 is dressing up like Santa Claus. We got the roaring fireplace going on in the background, a little Christmas tree with a gingerbread man. Not bad. And I do notice on this one, right down here in the corner of the picture, it does have R. McQuarrie. So Ralph McQuarrie, one of his original art pieces, made it onto a puzzle. Now, this one I like so much that yes, that one I did go out and buy a second one. So, you know, at some point, I'm going to put that one together. I, I just like this one. I think it's rather, rather fun. Okay, we're going to be moving up. Oh, well, I tell you what, before we do that, no, we're going to move up to some thousand piece puzzles here. And the first one, you gamers are going to like this one. You might want to go out and try to find this one because this is a collage of video games based on the Star Wars brand. And there are a lot of video games on this thing, as you can see. We've got Rebel Assault, X-Wing versus TIE Fighter, The Empire Strikes Back, Star Wars Battlefront, Dark Forces, Rebel Strike, Old Republic. We got a lot of video games mentioned on this one. And a thousand piece puzzle, this one happens to be 19 and three quarter inches by 26 and three quarter or 50 centimeters by 68 centimeters for those of you outside the U.S. So there, I, I like it. I think this one could be a little bit of a challenge to put together. I'm not sure how big the pieces are. Well, it does say on the side here, I guess that's how big a piece actually is. If you want to see it on the box there. What do you think? Do you like this one? Are you a video gamer and would, would like to get this, put it together and maybe hang it on the wall in your room? This would be a good one for that. Next, we're going to move back to A New Hope, or I should say the original, the original trilogy. Um, not A New Hope. I would say this is more from Return of the Jedi. As you can see on this puzzle, we have Leia with the long hair. It's not put up in a bun or anything. We have Luke with his green lightsaber. C-3PO and R2-D2, for some reason, kind of center it right underneath Luke's face. We've got the Millennium Falcon flying above their heads and way here in the background we have the second Death Star blowing up. So pretty good. I like this one. Um, there does seem to be an artist's name here, but I can't read what it says. And unfortunately, there is nothing on the box again that says who the artist is. Tell you what, Buffalo, maybe in the future with these artwork puzzles, why not put the artist's name on these things so that we could know who, who designed these things and who did the original artwork? It would be kind of interesting. Like I said, this one is a thousand pieces. Once again, 19 and three quarter by 26 and three quarter inches. So nice addition to the collection, I think. 
Now we're going to move backward one movie to The Empire Strikes Back. And here again, we're kind of getting a little bit of that retro look, as you can see. Which, hey, you know what? I kind of like this retro look. I, I find it to be rather interesting. Of course, this one features that famous scene of the almost kiss between Han and Princess Leia. And then, of course, we've got Luke Skywalker, Yoda, Chewbacca, the droids, Lando Calrissian. But underneath Darth Vader here, we do have a few of the bounty hunters, including our favorite, Boba Fett. So this one happens to be a thousand piece, same size as the other two. And this one, once again, I liked it pretty well. So I went out and bought a second one. So I have two of them. I now have two puzzles, two puzzles that talk about incredible action heart-pounding romance, and shocking revelations. The adventures continue in The Empire Strikes Back. What do you think? I like these. I think they're pretty good. Now, we talked a little. This is not the puzzle that I was talking about that featured the bounty hunters, even though they are on here. No, we have a better puzzle for that. And that happens to be this one. It's only 500 pieces, but it has got all the bounty hunters on it from The Empire Strikes Back. If you look across there, we do have Dengar and Boba Fett, IG-88. We have uh, Bosk there behind Darth Vader, and we also have the uh, other two droids that I just can't remember their name right offhand, which is bad, I know. What do you think of this one? Are the bounty hunters some of your favorite characters? Would you put this puzzle together and hang it on your wall? Leave a comment, let me know. Now, these are the ones from 400 to 1,000 pieces. I also have a 2,000 piece puzzle here to, to show you. This one is from The Empire Strikes Back. It's a bigger box, of course, because we got a lot more pieces in it. And as you can see, this figures Darth Vader in his chamber, along with a few other little touches around the edges, including some at at walkers. And uh, way on the bottom there, the lightsaber duel between Darth Vader and Luke in that classic pose. We also have a couple TIE Fighters across the top. I think they did a nice job on this one, blending everything together. It really looks nice, and it really highlights Darth Vader and the Emperor in a nice way on this one. Size-wise, this one is 38 and a half inches by 26 and a half. This is getting to be a pretty big puzzle. Got to have a good sized table to put that one together. Once again, there is a little blurb down here that's probably the artist's name, but I can't read it. It's too small. Well, I have one thing left to show you. And that happens to be a three puzzle set based from The Mandalorian. We have a 550 piece puzzle, a 750 piece puzzle, and a 700 piece puzzle. So there we go. As you can see by looking at this one, the different puzzles include the Mandalorian. Basically, it is the same puzzle as this one. But we also have two other ones, including the Mandalorian and Grogu in the ship cockpit, the Razorcrest cockpit. And then the 700-piece puzzle, we have Grogu outdoors at the village just having a good time. Now, one thing I think is rather interesting with this one, it does come with a bottle of puzzle glue. So once you put these together, flip it over, glue it together, you're set to go. You got some nice posters for your wall. So not bad at all. So there we have it. Some really nice puzzles. At least I think they're really nice puzzles. I think the artwork on these is fantastic. Buffalo, you did a good job with these, I think. At least for those of us who do like puzzles. Well, before we end it here, just want to remind you to once again, like the video, share it with your friends, leave a comment, tell me, which puzzle do you like the best? Do you even collect puzzles, or is this something that's kind of out of your realm for collecting? And finally, hit that subscribe button and notifications bell so that you're notified when new videos come out. Well, until next time, may the force be with you and keep collecting.